This week, Jaggett's released the Troll Invasion update. In this update, you can choose whether to fight the horde of oncoming trolls head-on, or take a defensive side of the fight, and repair the defences. Either way, you will be rewarded in a hefty sum of experience, but sadly can only be claimed once a month. You can start this minigame by talking to Captain Jute in Birthorpe, who is next to the Warriors Guild. There are no requirements for this minigame, although from my experience, high combat stats are highly recommended for the offensive aspect of, of this minigame. When I first read about this update I was pretty excited for it, as I find these minigames to be my favourite. Unlike last week's edition of the new Master Quest, Deadliest Catch, I feel this was a real content update, and not an update to show graphical side of RuneScape. I'm happy to see a new combat related minigame to be added to RuneScape rather than a skinning minigame. My first impressions of Troll Invasion was a good one, I found that the gameplay was fast paced and it was relatively easy if you had the co co right combat stats and equipment. In my opinion, the replay factor of the game was a good point, as every time I failed, I found myself trying to beat that level once again, although after you have accepted the reward, you couldn't be rewarded for another month, so I'd recommend trying to beat your best and get as high as possible until you claim your reward. When playing, I felt this a bit too similar to another combat-based minigame, the Tazar Fight Pits. It felt like a more laid-back version of Tazar Fight Pits. Instead of fighting Jag, you would be fighting Cliff, and instead of acquiring the Fire Cape, you would require XP. I feel that this is a bit lazy by Jagex and should have been made a bit different from the Tazar Fight Pits with maybe the integration of multiplayer. I personally think that this would be a great addition to the minigame and potentially make more players play it. Even though I'm more of an anti-social person in, in RuneScape, multiplayer in integration would definitely make me more play it more. Cons for this minigame, the rewards can be only be acquired monthly, too much like the Tazar Fight Caves, and if multiplayer integration would be added, that would be great. Pros for the minigame are the rewards, the replay factor, the fast-paced nature of the minigame, and the relatively easy nature of the minigame too. Overall, I give the Troll Invasion update a 5.5 out of 10. 
Surprisingly, the patch updates were my favourite update to this week because of the graphical update to RuneScape last week. A lot of clipping and flicking bugs have happened, especially when playing in full HD. So that personally has been a great patch in RuneScape. Although the clipping and flickering bugs happened before graphical improvements that came with the deadliest catch, I think that Jackets patched, patched them in the right time. Rather than having to patch them, then break out, bring out the new graphics with deadliest catch and then repatch them after that, they patched it at a good time. So well done to Jackets for that. After reviewing both Troll Invasion and the patch notes, I give this entire update an 8 out of 10. The only thing that really gives this update a good rating is personally the amount of patches. Although only small, they make a great deal to someone like me who plays in full high definition. Please note that this was all my own opinion, so you're all entitled to your own opinion. So with that in mind, leave me a comment. What did you think of this update? Good, bad, favourite parts and all that good stuff. Peace out. With this over guys, I would like to hear your feedback. Would you like me to do more reviews of the updates to RuneScape or no? Give me pointers on how to improve. And if you enjoyed it and you want to see more, leave a comment, hit the like button and subscribe to me. Thank you guys.